Hello, it's Jim. Today we're looking at teleoperation on Race Car J. Let's get started. On the MIT race car configuration, we use a Logitech F710 game controller to control the race car. Here's the controller. There is a switch on the back of the controller which controls the mode. One is Xbox mode. We do not want that one, we want D. So make sure that your switch here is set to D. This left bumper up here is our dead man control. We need to hold down this dead man control when we operate the car. On the front, we have the power button. This one in the center. This is the throttle. And this one is the steering. There is a wireless dongle that you use to connect to the race car. It goes into the USB hub. Let's get it out of its little compartment here. That's what it looks like. Now let's plug in the dongle into the USB hub. The next thing that we need to do is plug in the chassis battery. Make sure that your little battery is charged. Place it into its little holder. And we'll plug the car in. The VESC has already been programmed. The car is sitting on a pit stand. You want to make sure that all the wires are clear of the car before you operate it. For this demonstration, the car is plugged into the 19 volt adapter, into the wall, an ethernet plug, a monitor cable, and a mouse and keyboard. Okay, we're ready to start teleoperation. This is a base kit car. There is no camera or LiDAR installed. Let's turn on our game controller. We hit the on button, it's labeled Logitech on this one. If we hit the low vibration button here, we get a satisfying rumble. That tells us that the game controller is on. The mode button, the light should be off. There are a couple of modes. One is with it on, one is with it off. If the light is flashing, that means that it is trying to pair with the wireless dongle. So the light is off, we're ready to go. Let's switch over to the terminal here. Switch over to the race car directory. We'll source the devil. The VESC has been programmed already. If you bought it from the kit, it comes pre-programmed. If not, then I'll leave a link here on how to program it. Let's start this baby up. Okay, it's giving us an error saying that our LiDAR is not connected. It's very sad. But we should be good to go. We hold down the left bumper, this button right here. And we move the throttle. Forward and reverse work. The right joystick is for steering. You move it up, move it down. This isn't the normal operation of a game controller. Usually you use the joystick to move left and right by moving the joystick left and right. So let's change that. We'll kill our little teleoperation friend. Let's open this baby up. Now I happen to know that there are configuration files which set up the game controller. Let's open up config, race car version two. Joy Teleop, the YAML.
Okay, we can see axis three controls the steering. Axis one is for the throttle. Our dead man button is set to the left bumper. That's number four. There's a command line tool that we can use to help us debug the joystick. Let's install that. The joystick should show up as, and there it is. Let's run our little tool. Okay. We can see that this is axis one. And this is axis three. Left to right is axis two. The left bumper. is number four. All the other buttons show up, of course. So to change the steering, we would take the axis and change it from three to two. Let's do that. Let's change our axis from three to two. Make sure we save it. And let's give it a go. We'll launch our teleop again. Hold the bumper down. Let's take a look at our steering. Up and down doesn't do anything. Left and right does. Okay, our little holy terror is working. You gotta like that. And that's getting teleoperation started. When you're done working with your car, Make sure that you disconnect the batteries. In this case, we only have the one going to the chassis, so we'll unplug that. The controller will eventually power down. It goes into battery saving mode, so we don't have to worry about it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.